That's better. Well, I'm going to do my own review of Broadchurch. Now, yes, it is starring David Tennant and the lady that was on DW. We all know what DW is. If we haven't, if you haven't seen it, see it. You will understand what DW means. But BC, which means Broadchurch, is definitely not DW. I just recently saw an episode a few minutes ago, twice, two times, of Miller and Al Harding, I think his name is, or Alec Harding, or whatever you want to call his name. Well, if he asks if he's sexy, it's like, uh, Captain Obvious, did you not just get sex from Miss Miller? Did you obviously think that we're stupid? No. He says he can't. He needs someone to do it with him when he gets, well, when he gets hard. And yes, I know what that means. Not stupid. Well, I think that was an excuse, personally. I think that was an excuse. Considering the fact that before they had relations, sexual relations, and I think that's been building up since season one, is that he brought her over some flowers, some candy, and a bottle of champagne. And I'm like, that's not what you do when you're working with a colleague. That is called sexual harassment. Or sexual innuendo. Whatever that word means. I have no idea. However, when they did finally get to him using his private parts on her, or in her, whatever way you want to call it. He was definitely humping her like a jackrabbit in heat. And she wasn't exactly uh, not complaining. Now, I do not know what wanker means for the life of me. And I don't know what twat means for the life of me, unless it means a female body part, which I really don't want to know. Because this sounds gross. Literally, sounds gross. However... If it means that she wants him to just grab a hold of her and kiss her, then for the love of God, do not do what DW did. Please, just grab her, kiss her, and just do whatever you're going to do and get on with it. Don't take forever. That was annoying. And it's not entertaining. When you don't entertain me and you annoy me, then that makes me want to lose interest. Fast. Like, sorry, I'm trying to do that snapping thing and I'm not having much luck with it. So, sometimes I can snap, sometimes I can't. Just depends on when, where, how, and why. But in any good murder mystery, there's always an element of sex. And if you don't believe me, just watch General Hospital and you'll understand what I'm saying. It's in every show. Western, sci-fi, soap operas, murder mystery. It's all in there. I don't know an awful lot about Shakespeare, but I do know an awful lot about daytime TV. And let me just say this. 99.9% .9 of the time that there's a murder mystery, there happens to have sex involved. Now... I don't really know for certain if Miller's husband was the one that did this, molest him or not. But if he is, then he deserves exactly what he gets. And if his wife wants to move on and get a divorce, fine. But let's face it, they, those two, Miller and... Alec 
hurting. Sorry, every time I hear the word hurting, I think about a guy wanting to jack off. You know what I mean by that. You know, wanting to do it. I think those two have been wanting to do it since they first saw each other, personally. That's my honest evaluation. And I'm going to stop because I'm getting tired. And I need to put my phone on the charge.